Big-budget TV shows like Game of Thrones, The Crown, and The Mandalorian have wowed audiences with their lavish set designs, cinema-quality special effects, and cream-of-the-crop casting. These series raise major eyebrows with budgets that reach for the stars, some costing over $10 million per episode. In fact, it's becoming quite the norm for modern shows to employ production standards that rival that of the big screen. The landscape of television has changed drastically with the advent of streaming services and declining theater ticket sales. Surging popularity in high-budget TV shows has only intensified the industry's willingness to sign off on their huge bills. This wasn't always the case. Just a few decades ago, television programs stuck to a simple formula with low-cost production. The shows that did have big budgets were trailblazers. Unfortunately, the studios that produced them didn't always make back their investment. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the classic TV shows with the biggest budgets. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video to learn how the cost of the 70s show Super Train nearly bankrupted NBC. Facts First presents TV Super Flop Super Train Almost Bankrupted NBC, 8 Most Expensive TV Shows. And if you remember seeing any of these shows, make sure you click the like button to let us know. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Wagon Train. Budget, $100,000 per episode. Based on the 1950 Western film Wagon Master, starring Ward Bond, the show follows a mixed bag cast of characters that are traveling via wagon caravan from St. Joseph, Missouri to California in the late 1800s. Premiering in September 1957, it ran for a solid eight seasons spanning well over 200 episodes, finally concluding in 1965. During its tenure on the small screen, it garnered critical acclaim and accolades and won the hearts of millions of devoted viewers who tuned in eagerly each week to see what twists and turns the caravan would take. Unfortunately, the show's lead, Ward Bond, would suddenly die of a heart attack midway through the show's run in 1960. His death shocked fans and called into question the future of the show. Producers were determined to keep the show afloat. He was replaced by John McIntyre, who stayed with the show until its finale. The 50s and early 60s were the golden eras of the Western serial. Gunsmoke reigned supreme until Wagon Train surpassed it in terms of popularity and ratings and quickly became the number one most viewed TV show in America, thus justifying its pricey production cost. Factoring in inflation, the show's $100,000 budget would be closer to $1 million today. That's a whole lot of clamps. Bonanza. Budget, $225,000 per episode. Another big budget show on our list is actually NBC's longest running Western serial, with 431 episodes lasting a whopping 14 seasons. Audiences tuned in on the regular to follow the lives of the Cartwright family in the rural vicinity of Virginia City, Nevada. Starring Lauren Green as Ben Cartwright, the single parent widowed father of three sons, Adam, Hoss, and Little Joe, played by Parnell Roberts, Dan Blocker, and Michael Landon, the show often explored topical themes of moral dilemmas amid the 1860s mining town backdrop. Much like Wagon Train, Bonanza saw immense popularity and reruns of the show still run in syndication to this day. It's on many critics' list of best TV shows of all time, and was honored with several Primetime Emmy Awards as a testament to its excellence. The show had a massive budget of well over 100000 per episode in its first two seasons, but that number quickly skyrocketed to $225,000 by its final season. Again, if we adjust this to today's value, we have a budget of one to $1.3 million. Star Trek, the original series. Budget, $200,000 per episode. The iconic show that launched an enduring franchise that's just as popular and lucrative today as it ever was may not look as flashy as its follow-up series and films, but in its day, it had one of the largest production budgets in all of television. The crew of the USS Enterprise would plummet through space, the final frontier, to boldly go where no one had gone before tackling social issues, alien adversaries, and even a little bit of romance, to the delight of viewers that were glued to the edges of their seats. There had been science fiction serials before, but Star Trek had a special kind of chemistry and a not-too-far-fetched premise that engaged fans in a masterful way that helped propel the show into the stars, giving birth to a media franchise that would be worth over $4 billion in 2020. That astronomical modern net worth justifies the show's hefty initial budget. One of the show's most expensive episodes, The City on the Edge of Forever, set the studio back two hundred and fifty grand, which is about $2 million today which probably seemed like a risky investment at the time, given that the episode aired in the show's first season. But we're guessing that Paramount doesn't regret taking that starry-eyed plunge today. Land of the Giants, $250,000 an episode. 
The year is a fictionalized future of 1983. The crew and passengers of the suborbital transport ship Spindrift anticipated a routine voyage from Los Angeles to London as they zoomed through space just outside of Earth's atmosphere at hypersonic speeds. To their dismay and no doubt fright, the ship suddenly encounters a massive magnetic storm and is dragged through some kind of wormhole to a distant, mysterious planet that looks suspiciously similar to Earth. There's one defining difference about this planet. Its inhabitants are all 12 times the size of living organisms on Earth, including human-like denizens known as the giants. Very little is learned about the planet or where exactly in the solar system it may be located in the show's short two-season run. The show required a massive budget of $250,000 per episode to finance the extensive special effects needed to convince audiences that the show's cast were interacting with giants and their giant environments. Massive mechanical props were developed, and loads of cash got sunk into set design. Eventually, the bill would prove to be less than sustainable, and the show was canceled after 51 episodes. Adjusted for inflation, today the show would have cost roughly $1.8 million per episode. Planet of the Apes, the TV series. Budget, $250,000 per episode. Fans of the immensely popular Planet of the Apes film franchise were thrown a proverbial bone when they received a syndicated TV series. Much like the feature films that are set in a future Earth that has been dominated by hyper-intelligent evolved simians, the series follows the misadventures of Roddy McDowell as Galen, a young chimpanzee that is sent by the problematic Zaius to investigate the crash of a human ship. Colonel Alan Verdon, Colonel Alan Verdon, played by Ron Harper, and Major Peter Burke, played by James Naughton, play the human survivors of a failed space mission that saw the ship and crew plummet through time through some sort of interdepartmental warp. Alan and Peter wind up teaming up with Galen after a bit of AP pseudo-religious drama gone awry, and they embark on adventures across Western post-apocalyptic America. Shenanigans and hijinks ensue as the three discover civilization's ruins, encounter less-than-friendly country dwellers, and deal with their own plagued psyches. The show had a massive budget due to its costly costume and set design, in addition to extensive on-location shooting. The show was riding on the coattails of the film series, and audiences expected production quality in line with the film's legacy. Unfortunately, the show only garnered a handful of viewers and suffered from poor ratings. It was canceled after only 14 episodes. The show was a resounding success in the UK, however, where fans were especially disappointed to see the show come to an abrupt end. Adjusted for inflation, each episode would have cost between $1.3 and $1.8 million. That price tag isn't any monkey business. The Virginian. Budget, $330,000 per episode. Another crown jewel of the Western genre with a mind-boggling budget is 1962's The Virginian. James Drury played the title character. He was the no-nonsense, stand-your-ground, don't-take-crap-from-no-one foreman of Shiloh Rance in a post-Civil War Wyoming. The show explored common Western tropes and themes with consistency and quality that garnered universal acclaim and very high ratings. The Virginian was also the first 90-minute Western to appear on television. Each episode was a feature film in its own right, while faithfully following the show's cast of beloved characters through peril, pain, and conflict. Drury would eventually leave the show in season four, and several replacements would fill his role throughout the show's nine seasons, including a certain Mr. McIntyre that you might remember from Wagon Train. Much to do with its long episodes and on-location shooting, the show had a monstrous budget of nearly $330,000 an episode. Running that number through the old inflation calculator, we get a number upwards of $2.8 million per episode. The Time Tunnel. Budget, $500,000 for the pilot episode. Producer Irwin Allen is no stranger to big-budget TV shows. In fact, we already have one of his other works on our list, Land of the Giants. This lost-in-space director knew that American audiences especially craved science fiction. The 1960s were a time of tremendous societal change and a comic book lover's wet dream. The Time Tunnel, which ran for a brief 30 episodes between 1966 and 67, chronicled a secret government experimental project investigating the potential applications of time travel. The show transported its main characters through familiar and infamous events throughout history. The first episode starts with the sinking of the Titanic. This pilot episode would cost $500,000 to make, which was unheard of at the time. Adjusted for inflation, that comes out to a cool $4 million. Unfortunately, ratings didn't quite meet expectation, and the show was axed. Super Train. Budget, $1 million an episode. The show that was described as being like the love boat on rails got off to a rocky start. It never fully got back on track and went down in history as being one of the biggest failures in TV history. 
Super Train followed the passengers aboard a futuristic nuclear-powered bullet train that traveled between New York and Los Angeles in 36 hours. A quick bit of math will tell you that equals out to be about 80 miles per hour, a far cry from the touted 200 miles an hour top speed claimed by the Super Train. The show suffered by a lackluster cast which was comprised mainly of guest starring roles. Audiences failed to connect with the characters or the something to be desired plotline which was all over the place in all the wrong ways. The massive budget of the show was in huge part because of its extravagant, over-the-top special effects. A full-size train and two scale model trains were built for the show and were estimated to cost over $10 million. The network should have taken it as a sign of things to come when one of the scale models violently crashed before the pilot episode even had a chance to air. The show's dismal failure, coupled with its insane $1 million per episode bill, would almost bankrupt NBC. Adjusted for inflation, each episode would have cost roughly $3.5 million today. Super Train? More like Super Train Wreck. Well, that wraps up our list of the eight most expensive TV shows of the 60s and 70s. Now we'd like to hear from you. Do you remember seeing a Super Train episode? If so, should it have been canceled or continued despite the cost? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to Facts First for more videos like this.